Families who claim to have been taken advantage of by a Colorado funeral home finally have hope of resolution tonight. They accuse Megan Hess and her Montrose mortuary of mutilating their loved ones' bodies and then selling the parts on the black market. Well, Contact 7 Chief Investigator Tony Kowaleski has been following this story since day one. So, Tony, similar case out of Arizona, and that yielded pretty big payout for some families. Yeah, Shannon, and this is considered a landmark decision. Never before has a jury been asked to financially penalize owners of what many consider a body chop shop. This Arizona jury sent a message that will resonate around the world. We, the jury, do You're listening to the voice of an Arizona court clerk. And find the full damages to be $1.5 million. Announcing the $58 million verdict. And punitive damages to be $5 million. Against a Phoenix body broker accused of misleading family members and profiting off the sale of bodies and body parts. I think it sends a very strong message. Mike Berg and David Tassell are Denver-based attorneys who represented the Arizona families. We had a jury that looked at uh, someone who was deceiving families, who was stealing bodies, who was then selling to body brokers for profits, and said, enough. The verdict included $50 million in punitive damages, a message that resonates to Colorado, where a jury could hear a similar lawsuit against this Montrose funeral home. Do you want to explain why you chopped up bodies? That's what the allegation is. Is it true? You sold bodies to, to body brokers. Families had no idea. Don't you want to explain? Here's your opportunity. Tell me what people don't understand. Will you talk to us, sir? The owners of Sunset Mesa Funeral Home in Montrose are currently under federal investigation. Do you want to explain what you did, sir? Get off the property. Currently facing multiple civil lawsuits for deceiving Colorado families. Are you asking us to leave? I'm telling you to leave. And selling body parts on the black market to large corporations for significant dollars. I think that's something that uh, is going to be exposed in the Colorado case. Um, and, and, and hopefully we're going to stop that side of the, uh, this horrible industry also. Now, the FBI and the Department of Justice continued their review of the Montrose funeral owner's situation. Sources telling us their conclusion could be announced in the next 60 days. Also, that's the criminal side. No current timeline on when a civil trial might begin on lawsuits by more than five dozen families. Wow. A lot more ahead. Incredible stuff. All right. All right. Tony, Tony thank you.